Hi everybody, just jumping in from the future here uh, to apologize for the lack of game audio on this video. Uh, I don't know what happened, but for some reason I got lost in the recording process, but I thought it was interesting enough that I wanted to post it anyway. So jam up your favorite music and uh, enjoy the run and know that the future ones will uh, have game audio again. So enjoy. Welcome back from more Monster Train, everyone, and this time we're going to take a break from our regular runs for a moment and try yet another expert challenge, hoping to break our bad streak. And, you know, this time uh, I think we'll, we'll go to the pure chance, see what the randomness brings us, and I think it's clearly in the spirit of the challenge to go with random clans as well. And at least if I lose this one, I have something to blame besides my own mistakes, so that's always a nice one. Alright, let's go. May the RNG be blessed. Okay, Remnant Stygian, we get some Moldeds, some Spell Weakness, Resin Removal, okay. Um, and our final boss is Cleansing uh, Debuffs, so we won't put have to try not to rely on Frostbiter spell weakness too, too much. Uh, and we get the Hornbreaker Prince, right? I forgot you also get a random champion with this. That's super interesting. Okay, Hornbreaker Prince, nice flexible hero. It can be a tank, it can be a DPS. Uh, and then, yeah, we have our dregs. We have a couple ways to bring them back. Our Frozen Lance is okay. It's, it's an all right start. And we have an option of Cleansing Water Totem Fragment. Hmm. Probably take the cleansing water, and then just gets rid of uh, rage early, and then some other good stuff later. Uh, the totem fragment can be good, but you really need a pretty specific setup to make it exceptional. And the cleansing water is just—it's always going to help. This will only sometimes help. Sometimes it'll be a bigger help than the cleansing water, but um, I'll go for a little bit of consistency among all of our crazy randomness. And of course the costs of all our cards are randomized, so these dregs are worse than usual. Energy siphons worse than usual. Uh, that part maybe not so good. Okay, and we can go for either tank or DPS here. Um, with no armor synergies, I think I'd rather just go for the slay here. Uh, this this champion really does best when you have some way to synergize with either the Rage or the Armor, ideally both. Um, whereas the Slaying one is just a little bit easier to make work uh, in a generic deck. Enemies in each floor, uh, you know, is going to give us a little trouble, but let's go ahead and do it. Again, some of the Rage might get uh, the spell, which will help us prevent some damage. That part's nice. Oh, wow, that's a nasty hand. Uh, okay, so this floor is dealing 12. This one's only dealing 7, but of course we don't get to attack there. And this one is dealing 16. Uh, so I think I can get our Hornbreaker 1 kill here if I'd like, but it's ah, there's less space here. That's a little bit annoying. Still, a drag will absorb 2 hits, actually, so I think I'm happy enough to... Uh, just deploy one of our very expensive dregs over the train steward. Uh, gives us the option to play something here next turn as well. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate, but um, we did at least get something here. Uh, play a drag, certainly play one of these lances. Playing a second lance doesn't accomplish a lot, but it's probably better than the train steward that will die. So, sure, I guess. You need to get really strong for this boss, because we're not going to have a ton of stuff to get in the way of the hits. Uh, Alright, these guys are down to doing a lot less damage, which is nice, but we keep drawing kind of poorly. Uh, I guess we'll fire off a Molded. And this will allow us to um, 
Yeah, do some tanking for just one slot. We could re either remove the days here. No real point removing the raid out of the can on its own. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then fire off a lance. Okay, we got another drag or another molded. Um, I think I'll just go with the drag here, then the front to give us an extra kill. I'm going to start killing these guys. The one damage to the pyre isn't a whole heck of a lot. We need to make sure we get hits on the bosses with our champion. Hitting for 55, so we don't need that many turns, but we can't be wasting them on hitting these little guys. Okay, this is about to burn out, which isn't great. Um, we get some more moldeds, though. I guess that's what we'll be doing. Play one of these, and no real reason to play this drag, so I guess I'll apply a spell weakness. Okay, the lances are good here. I um, think I'm just going to play a bunch of lances. And slightly rough, but we did it in the end. Obviously, first battle, and uh, we have a really bad deck, <laughs> Pulpful Gauge. Not too interested in these. Okay, alright, there's a card that's actually good with a volatile gauge, so we'll be looking to grab that one. Right, and of course we don't get a choice, but luckily we went to the uh, Merchant of Steel, so that's good. Let's see, health attack and quick, okay, could be decent. Ooh, we get a Legion of Wax as our option, or a Baron. The Baron could certainly do some work with uh, having drags just die in front of it, but because the drags aren't zero cost, that strategy gets a lot worse. So I'm just going to go with the Legion here and um, hope we can do something with it. And then I just have to decide how we want to allocate our money in terms of improving that, whether we'd like to uh, go ahead and just give it plus 10, plus 25, which isn't bad. Makes it, what, a 18, 23, then splits up into a bunch of stuff. But if we could maybe get a large stone or something along those lines, really that's a big one, I guess. Um, that could be pretty good as well. Let's see. Next turn, we're not spending any money, regardless of where the randomness takes us. So if we do this, it gives us some more cash to purge with, which is good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a coward here. Um, who knows when we're going to end up in another merchant, so let's just take the basic upgrades. Maybe we get a cave event or something that improves it further. And we'll definitely go ahead and purge. Um, it's between the dregs and the energy siphons. The dregs at least do something uh, with the moldeds, which is nice. These are just horrible with the randomized costs, so I'm going to go ahead and remove one of them. All right, units coming in with armor, and we have a sweep boss. The sweep boss doesn't bother us too, too much. Legion of Wax should be strong enough to handle it. The armor on the units is a little bit scary. It means we would take uh, quite a bit more pyre damage, though. It looks like it's mostly big enemies anyway, so I don't know how much more damage we're taking with the armor versus without it. So I'm going to try it. Um, we'll see. We'll see how much that costs us. Now, unfortunately, we can't fit our champion behind the Legion of Wax. That would be great, but since that won't be an option, we'll have to uh, try to get the champion to get its slay trigger somewhere else. So I think we'll set him up on top. Unfortunately, smaller again, but what can you do? And this is probably fine on the bottom. Just go ahead and uh, get going early. Um, don't really want a frozen lance to give it an encant trigger, so I guess I'll play a train steward. 
uh, with the boss maybe, or with the champion I mean, to go ahead and tank for him. Okay, reasonably lucky collector. Not very lucky hand here, unfortunately. Um, we get to play one of these cards. I guess I will play one drag. Man, the drags are so, so bad. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen random clans for this challenge. Okay, Ice Tornado we like to see. Um, would we rather play it up here or down here? I think we have a better shot of eliminating units down here, so let's start that. Okay, that was that was good. I liked that one. Um, and let's go ahead and deploy one of our stewards while we have the opportunity here. So yeah, I don't think the armor made much of a difference there. Okay, there's our boss, and it's dying, so perfect. We don't have to worry about anything else. All right. Uh, is any of this good? Again, we're really looking for uh, big expensive spells to try and actually utilize the Volatile Gauge. Void Clash could do something, maybe. We're going to be stuck with these dragons and stuff for a while, but man, it's just not where I want to be for this run, so I'm going to skip that one and yeah, continue picking up Ice Tornadoes. Great. Okay, and we get a unit as well. So we get uh, one of these burnout units or an encant unit. Encant again is going to be a little harder to um, get to go off with the gauge. It is a nice tank though. Um, I could really see the Lady of the House. We have the two Moldes to try and reform it maybe. Though, uh, three turns isn't that long to stick around, so maybe we'd rather have the other lady that goes ahead and fuels itself, and we can even get a drag behind her, uh, or maybe a couple. So, I guess I'll go with her. Um, the base stats, obviously, the attack is much worse, but she, she's there to serve the role of tank, so it doesn't matter too, too much. Alright, fire health, not bad. Um, and... Which of these do I want to check first? I'll go for the artifact. Okay, freezing cards in hand or dealing damage when they enter. So the problem with freezing cards, of course, is that we can get a card stuck in our hand at an expensive cost, which isn't so good. Um, the advantage is, well, that we don't have to draw that card again. A lot of our cards are bad. But I think I'll just take the mallet. It, it's a benefit for the time being, even though it's not a super powerful artifact at the end of the day. Alright. We'd love to make uh, our, our Legion of Wax tiny, that would be great. Oh boy, we can copy something five times. And you know I'm looking at this Ice Tornado. I mean, that's gotta be great. The alternative is to copy like Legion of Wax once and just to get somewhere with that, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna live a little. Have our deck have seven copies of Ice Tornado. Um, the reduced Frozen cards to zero has suddenly become the best artifact we could possibly ever want. And anything that gives us spell power would be nice as well. But well, we have little dis little uh, choices over these things anyway. So let's see what happens. Once again, the water clearing out some rage for us. Good stuff. And now we just have to decide exactly how we want to set our floors up. Uh, we have really just the two units at the moment, besides some dregs. So we'll most likely want the lady to cover for the Hornbreaker Prince while the Legion of Wax just kind of hangs out on its own. Um, 
I would like to avoid the first floor because the rage is still an issue, uh, so the legion might just not get its backup and sit in the middle for us, while these two hang out at the top, and we'll eventually add a drag back there as well. And of course, we do hope some units get up here to actually hit the lady and extend her burnout a bit. Wouldn't be great for her to die, though. We at least have the molded, so it's not a complete disaster. All right, <laughs> this is what we like to see. Um, again, I think I'm actually gonna let these guys live simply because I would like uh, the lady to get hit a little bit. So. Uh, and then score a slate trigger as well. So I'm not going to worry about this floor, but I will fire off a couple of these down here. I guess just one kills everything, so um, keep the rest around. Or we could fire some at the boss, I guess. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do 60 damage to the boss as well. Don't love to see that, but uh, Our Lady should be tough enough to be okay. And this means she's taking uh, the Extinguish triggers as well, so she should be really good on Burnout for the time being. Um, and even though it's a little bit silly, I'm, I'm kind of going to drag down. Is that better than just playing a million Ice Tornadoes? Probably not, but there we go. Those will stick around for later, so it's fine. All right, go ahead and try to clear some of this stuff out and just bombard the boss. Yeah, if we could make these pop a little bit more, that would be great. Okay, we still have plenty of burnout, but I'm probably going to once again um, choose not to kill these things in order to let our champion in their slay and pick up a little bit more burnout. Uh, I could maybe fire off a lance to clear one out, but we're going to kill all of them anyway, so I think it's we're better off just uh, playing some of these. Okay, they're all dying, that's great. Um, can't play two tornadoes, so we'll just play one of them. Unfortunately, our lady, uh, not the greatest tank yet, with limited HP, but uh, Legion of Wax doing a good job against bosses. It's very good in relentless phases, and of course, We've dealt quite a bit of damage already with these ice tornadoes, so that's great. All right. Arnas the Titan looks phenomenal. Though Sacrificial Resurrection also interesting, um, but I don't want to consume all of my tornadoes, which will be stuck in our hand. Otherwise, though, getting this draft behind the lady and uh, having just a really powerful unit is pretty good, but Harness Titan when I'm going to have multiple Ice Tornadoes every turn is quite good, so I'm going to be picking that one up, even though the cost, uh, again, is going to be randomized. I think it'll end up being worth it a lot of the time. Fascinating. Uh... Whenever you okay, so this is even if we draw off the offering monument, the volatile gauge still randomizes the cost. Something I just wanted to make sure of. So, I mean, we could pick this up for an infusion of cards, um, but really, cards aren't going to be an issue with the volatile gauge. We draw so many every turn; it's just not a big deal. So we have to decide um, between these two units, or if we just maybe don't want either of them. Again, they have two floors pretty much accounted for, so we need to potentially start working on a third one if we're uh, interested in doing that. We're probably getting one more unit. There's 50% chance, 50 chance we go here, and I think the next 
battle might give us one. Maybe not, actually. I think this might be our last chance at even it here, so we might not get another one. Um, I'm probably just going to look to duplicate the Legion of Wax later, honestly, and not worry about these. They're just not that enticing. I could take the Monument. Uh, it's okay. But I think I'd rather just take a skip here, and um, as you might expect, we'll be taking energy to try and actually play some more of our cards. And okay, we do get another option of a unit. It's cool. Look at this merchant for a moment. Okay, some good stuff there. And let's see what we've got. Uh, Encant or Spell Weakness is actually pretty interesting. Um, again, we have a bit of an issue on how exactly to deploy this creature. But uh, I might pick it up anyway, try to make it work. Maybe we can pick up space and try to fit it behind a Legion of Wax or something. That could be alright. Let's give it a go and um, upgrade our champion as well. Uh, I do like the multi-strike with the sleigh. It gives you an opportunity to sometimes get multiple sleigh triggers. Um, gives you a little bit of armor to start, so you're just that little bit tougher against AoEs and things. Um, the sleigh 20 is obviously good too, and with well, the attack action is the same, so you're sort of equally likely to get slay triggers, uh, but this one sometimes lets you get two, so I think I'm happy with this. It's close. It's close for sure. Okay, we have a good amount of money. Um, is there anything we don't want to know? So 10 magic power, obviously just power up a tornado seems great. And then we might as well make... Actually, I'm going to make Harness Titan cheaper. Uh, so... This might look odd with the um, volatile gauge, but these upgrades actually apply after um, the adjustment, so this will make it cheaper despite the artifact. And I do want to make sure I can cast this card whenever we draw it. Uh, and then yeah, let's go ahead and re-roll. Okay, hold over on the harness. Now that's interesting. Hold over on a tornado, also good, but we have so many of them. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. Let's, let's give that a go. Um, 20 magic power and consume. Maybe I'll, I'll certainly make one of these tornadoes cheaper. Um, yeah, I guess this one, sure. That way if we get any duplication, we can duplicate that one, maybe. Uh, and do I want to spend 25 on that? No, I'd rather remove another card. And the energy siphon has actually gotten better with the tornadoes and stuff. Um, so I'm going to start removing some dregs, I think, even over train stewards, maybe. Yeah, let's get rid of one of these guys. Neither's great, but what can you do? And let's continue our wild train ride here. Spikes for an artifact, and we have a haste granter. How problematic are spikes for us? Well, they certainly make our sweep unit worse, and unfortunately they make our champion quite a bit worse, especially since we give it multi-strike. But the Legion of Wax has been good enough to handle the bosses, and I'm hoping the Ice Tornadoes will be good enough to handle the non-bosses. Mm, it could be a little dangerous, to be sure. I think Cleansing Water can debuff it as well, or get rid of it, rather. I'm going to try this. It could very well kill us. I, I don't know if we actually have the DPS to uh, get through all this stuff, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like the water does get rid of the spikes and some stuff. Uh, Alright, so I think we'll set up similar to before. Uh, well, actually we have the hasters, so let's just go ahead and put the legion on the bottom floor. And then uh, play our lady. And I'll still play the Hornbreaker Prince. He may get lucky and survive until the boss, maybe. I don't know. That's convenient. All right, we get lots of cheap tornadoes, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and play one up here. Okay, we don't mind this surviving, giving us some burnout. Uh, and then play one down here as well. Could play the more expensive one, but we might actually want to play two, so. 
Let's see here. Um, wouldn't mind playing this in the middle, maybe. So uh, I'm gonna hold on to the other tornadoes for now. Okay, we got our harness and it's free. That's good. So uh, certainly play that. Makes these a bit stronger. Uh, go ahead and start firing these off. I'd like to get a unit in front of this silo fight. Unfortunately, that's not looking like it's going to happen at the moment. So instead, um, we'll just go ahead and kill you and yeah, get you uh, as that as possible as well. Okay, Harness costing two this time. Not quite as strong, but still going to play it. Can't play both Tornadoes anyway, so let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, yep. Our turns are not going to be very varied, I'll say that much. Might as well hold on to this free one for the boss. This should do enough. Oh, never mind. It did not do enough. Um, I'm gonna let this guy pass though. Oh, this is dying. That's really bad. Well, let's hope the Legion of Wax can save us here. Alright, it gets probably close enough that we're fine. Yeah, I think hopefully we duplicate this and assume the legions are going to be strong as bosses while the ice tornadoes can take out everything else. It's a bit of a wacky strategy for sure, but, uh, you know, it's kind of getting there. Okay, Vapor Funnel, not a bad one. And not too interested in all this, I don't believe. Okay, Guardian Amulet, um, totally fine. Again, with randomized costs, a bit better. And, you know, Sap 2 to all enemy units is a powerful effect, so I'm happy to pick that up. Basically, if a, if a card costs 3, we'd probably want it. Ooh, we got to duplicate. Nice, okay. Let's see what's in here for starters. Uh, consume cards or Stronger Pyre. Probably taking the Stronger Pyre. Just looking real quick. It's anything cool with Consume we have, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, and this little combo nicely with our Vapor Funnel to really uh, get some units out of there. Um, yeah, our units are just so bad. I mean, the Lances aren't doing much either, but I'm just going to get rid of some Stewards. The uh, Drags are also bad, but at least they like kind of work with reforming. And yeah, here I'm going to be looking to duplicate the Legion of Wax. Uh, Hoping that carries us to victory somehow. All right, we have a sweep boss and more attack. The extra attack is scary. These uh, these come in big waves. And the uh, tanks are pretty pretty tough as well. So I think I'm gonna skip on this one. Um, less worried about my units dying, more so about. Uh, not killing these guys in the pyre, just taking ludicrous amounts of damage. So, uh, Alright, so at this point we have two Legion of Wax floors and then our uh, Hornbreaker floor. So for now the Coelophyte doesn't fit anywhere. We might look to pick up space over energy, even though that seems a little bit insane. Just to fit one behind a Legion of Wax, maybe. Spell weakness could be really good, especially on bosses. Okay, in the meantime... Um, see here. The lady does want an extra slot behind just to get the drags, plus we saw on the last floor she sometimes has issues with actually um, running out all the way, and he can survive one hit, so I'm, I'm happy to try and set up in the middle for that one. Again, just skipping out on the Celo fight for now. Um, let's see, this isn't a debuff, this is a trigger or something, so I don't think this removes it. Um, not a good starting hand, I'll say that much. Can't 
Well, now I don't want to play this at the top because we can draw both legions next turn and want to play them both. Um, I guess I can play this here to eat a hit. It's probably okay. And then sure I'll play lands. All right, getting very lucky with killing those guys. Uh, all right, well, we didn't draw both legions, but we did draw the lady, which is good. So we'll definitely be deploying her. And then just have to decide which legion to play first. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and deploy this one, make sure it gets its days out of the way here. Right, there's a second one, and we got our free harness. That's cool. Uh, go ahead and fire that off, and then play some of these. Um, let's see, I'm certainly looking to... Okay, that was a little unexpected, but sure. Uh, I guess we'll just prevent maximum pyre damage here. All right, our hunters cost two this time. The problem with uh, yeah, this having holdovers is that like you kind of want to play it every turn, but man, two is a lot to pay for that effect, right? So maybe we're better off just playing like two tornadoes or something. Uh, I think that's the case here, so I'll just play. Uh, see, I'll play the weaker one down here just because there's lots of small guys to hit, and then the stronger one up on this floor. Okay. You actually get a slay trigger there, that's pretty cool. Alright, once again, looking to eliminate this guy. Might as well do it with an expensive and crappy version. You need to start paying attention to the numbers on these. Uh, try to keep the better ones for later if we can. And here our champion is actually going to get two slays, so I think I'm happy not uh, messing with this floor for the moment. So yeah, we'll just let this go. Right, of course our champion uh gonna get wrecked by the sweep anyway, but at least he has that armor so he gets to survive a hit. Um okay, I would like to kill you. So let's go ahead and do that. What do we need? It's at a hundred and five, we're dealing eighteen. So 85, 87. Uh, so that would take two of these to fully kill it. Am I willing to do that much damage? Not sure. What about this one? This one will kill on its own, I guess. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm willing to go ahead and spend that good one. And then uh, play a couple other ones here. All right, 120. Um, the energy siphon is good, right? That's effectively like playing an extra copy of it, so it seems okay to me. I missed the harness there, but uh, we can still play that and then just play one of these. I imagine this floor kills anyway, but uh, we can also replay harness and really go off. Haven't had a run like this in some time. Uh, usually don't go for spell heavy, but it's doing something. Well, Mortal Entrapment fits our bill of if it costs three, we probably want it. So uh, let's take it. It's also good with the um, Harness Titan as spell power helps it out. You know, an Encant unit wouldn't be bad. Could fit that with one of our uh, Legion of Wax. Not maybe incredible, but uh, I'm going to pick it up. And, okay, more remove I think I'm happy with. Additional Merchant of Magic as well. Uh, I'm going to visit the caverns first, see if we can get anything sweet happening before we sp spend our money or remove. 
All right. And here, certainly not interested in petty theft of the randomized cost. So it's just a matter of um, gratitude or aggressive. And I'm just having a hard time imagining a turn where we don't want to spend our energy on other stuff. So I'm just going to think aggressive here. Uh, make Repire really strong with the Vapor Funnel as well. Should be really good. We can let some stuff leak into the Pyre and feel okay about it. Still nothing with Consume. Uh, obviously happy to add Magic Power. Probably here over the Ice Tornadoes. They're both good. Uh, and then we'll reduce cost on another Tornado, I suppose. It's good to get these as cheap as possible. Permafrost is interesting. Um, but again, with randomized costs, it's a little bit awkward because if you get, like, Resin Removal is probably the card I would look to Permafrost, but if we get it costing three, eh. So, um, instead I'll add some damage and then probably make this attunement a little bit cheaper as well, or entrapment, excuse me, and save a little bit of money. Um, makes our pyre stronger, so it's pretty good. And yeah, the Train Stewards, um, probably our worst units. We have still so, so many bad cards in our deck. Really looking to remove pretty heavily. But again, we have very little control over how that's going to go, so here we are. Alright, let's see what we've got. Uh, While well, we draw our mortal entrapment with nothing's hurt, don't want to cast on the middle floor. That's probably okay. Um, so yeah, same same setup as before. We'll want the prince and the gang in the middle, and then the two legions on the top and bottom. And I think for the time being, I'll again deploy it to the top. I'll let his days wear off here. I'll go ahead and deploy the prince. And then I may as well fire off a tornado and one of these and just clear that floor out. Perfect. Hammer's still doing good work for us. Uh, okay, well, Lady costing three sucks a little bit. We have the Guardian Stone that we can't play as well. But, you know, I'm certainly going to deploy this guy um, as well as the Lady and just hold on to our tornadoes for next turn. Okay, we got a sweep unit there. That's not great. Uh, let's see. No harness to tighten yet. Uh, how much damage do I want to deal? This is all, all very tricky. I would like to just eliminate this, I think. And then I would like to kill the marksman as well and just have the this guy survive. So if we hit this three times. So we can just use a weak one here. I'll go with this one. Okay, that's fine. He's dying. Great. And then here we'll fire off some of the stronger ones to go ahead and kill. Could use a Frozen Lance instead. Rare chance to actually use that and hold on to the good tornado for later, maybe. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, we'll take nine damage there. Okay, don't mind that. Uh, play Harness when it's not too expensive. Maybe play a Dreg. Probably play this. That just seems good. And yeah, I'll use this opportunity to get a Dreg going. Um, and once again, we want these to leak, but this shouldn't kill anything, so that's totally fine. Okay, the uh, Encant here, obviously terrible. We don't want to be touching that one, so we'll just play our Harness somewhere else. Uh, Guardian Stone also kind of awkward with the sweep here, so no reason to play that one. Uh, I guess we'll just do nothing. I don't want to accidentally kill these units. So, yeah, we'll just hold on to everything for now.
Yeah, I don't know how well this plan will work against the uh, final boss. Or perhaps more so than the boss, the um, tougher units around the final boss. Okay, the, this is great here. We get to just eliminate this guy and deal a bunch of damage. Though maybe I could have used some tornadoes for that and uh, gotten a nice days on the boss, but that's okay. In the meantime, uh, you're already dying and who's killing you? 90, 100. So we're a little short of actually killing this other champion, so I'll probably want to use a tornado that doesn't quite kill it here if I have one of those. Yes, one of these two should work. And then down here we'll play um, maybe this one. Seems all right. Mm. Would have really loved to unload some of these on the boss, but you know we can just do that next turn. Hopefully, getting lucky with the uh, Titan whatever it's called here. And you're only getting hit once, so I again would like this to leak, probably, rather than try and kill it. Uh, these have gotten a little bit too strong, actually. So I'm um, just going to deploy a dreg and hold on to all these for the boss. Oh, this is great. Uh, I actually know how much this does. It does make this not die in one hit, so I guess that's relevant. You're dying, right? Yeah, okay. Um, and here, I'm going to keep holding on to the cheap ones to try and buff some more as much as I can. So for now, let's fire off one of the more expensive ones, and I guess one of the cheap ones here. Alright, uh, Harness, great, and this entrapment should do a ton for us, uh, allowing our champion to actually do some work. <laughs> These units are going to burn out now. Uh, that's quite alright, I think. Yeah, this lady uh, didn't turn out quite how I wanted, but what can you do, you know? Alright, it's taking 302. Um, I guess we can afford all of this, so let's just go and do it. And uh, the Ice Storm, once again, gets us there. That's pretty exciting. Formless Child, huh? Certainly Deep Offering's bad. We have a bunch of Rosen cards and Siren Song. Not what I want either. Is there some universe where I want a Formless Child? I don't think so. I think it's just a skip. And this is actually a big decision. Uh, I do think having... The silo fight uh, on a lower floor behind one of the Legions of Wax could help us quite a bit in terms of applying some spell weakness to bosses, and even some of the other units. Uh, just having one stack means these ice tornadoes are quite a bit better. So I, I'm going to go for space here, uh, just to make that play happen. And hopefully, we, yeah, we made our way to a steel merchant, that's great. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and improve some of our units. Ooh, these are, these are not bad options. Um, let's see, let's check our artifact. Encant abilities trigger an additional time. Well, we don't have any of those outside of this single Guardian Stone. Don't think that's too exciting. So we'll go for the days at the top. Uh, it's pretty good. It's not even like that insane, but... It, just because of the way we set up, but it's pretty good. Might as well finish our champion off here, and at this point, uh, 50 times 2 definitely beats 25 times 3, so easy pickup for me. And uh, let's hit the cave before we hit the merchant as well, I think. Sometimes we get money here, we have to spend money here. Oh, goodness gracious, okay. So, We could make one of these legions of wax uh, really tiny, which would be pretty cool. 
that could allow us to really change our entire setup in a big, big way. We could make something enormous. I don't see that being too helpful. We have, what, six slots now uh, on a lot of our floors. So we could make maybe an enormous Lady of the Reformed or something. Uh, I guess we could make an enormous Legion of Wax, even. If it can occupy one of the six floors. That actually sounds kind of cool. Um, like, the problem with making one of these small is, obviously, they're great. You can fit some stuff behind them, but we don't have other stuff. We don't know that we'll get an opportunity to duplicate or anything. So we're just putting, like, a drag behind it. It doesn't do much. If we make one of them enormous, then all these small waxes uh, get the bonus as well. So then that occupies a sixth uh, floor. The Icy Sealified plus Legion has to occupy another sixth floor, and our champion's doing the, the five thing. That seems okay to me. Um... Yeah, you know, didn't think I'd be making a Legion of Wax bigger, but here we go. 4863 is a pretty cool stat line. And uh, yeah, just, just double checking. Yeah, I have the extra space, so we can, in fact, fit that somewhere. Okay. Let's go for it. Alright, that said... Um, we still have room for this Icy Sealified, fight, so I'm gonna give it a multi-strike and attack. Should make it quite a bit better. And now our champion floor becomes just substantially less relevant, luckily. It's just gonna be our champion, our lady, and then... I mean, I... I don't know, either a drag or a guardian, like, one of those things will get in there. It doesn't matter too, too much. Not super excited about this. Um, I could re-roll and look to further improve the lady. We're getting close to the end here. Um, so 50-50 chance we get another Merchant of Steel. But, you know, uh, the lady doesn't even feel that important. I'd rather save the money. Maybe we can get a cool artifact or something next time. This will be a little bit awkward if the bottom floor ends up as the 5 one. Makes it... Uh, means we have to set up our champion and stuff on the bottom, which I don't think is quite as effective. But, eh, we'll, we'll make do. And 8 attack, and this is what the multi-strike grants are here, so... I don't know how excited I am to see that. Again, our... Well, let's think about that. Our Pyre is really, really strong, and Daze is, so we can leak stuff with 60 health and be totally fine. So maybe I can take this... I mean, these guys hitting for ten times two is a lot, and it's gonna take it's gonna take a few uh, a few ice tornado hits to eliminate a one ninety health unit as well. So it is possible if we take this, they just end up killing our legions a little too quickly. So maybe I don't do that. Gold would be nice though. We're pretty healthy. Our pyre is pretty insane. Um. And there's a good chance we can eliminate the multi-strike units as well, which is good. This is risky, but I'm going to try it. We're really hoping the bottom's not the five. Okay, and the top's the five. That's totally okay. This is our smaller legion, which actually wants to be on the bottom so that we can put the um, AoE unit behind it. This is the plan, so we'll go ahead and do that. This not quite dying to the pallet is a little bit unfortunate. Um, the Ice Tornado is expensive as well. Is it just going to die if I play it here? Like, probably, right? Um, but I think I do it anyway. Okay, this is, looks uh, kind of terrifying upon closer inspection, and we drew extremely badly, so that sucks. I can't not play this Legion of Wax uh, over the Silo fight, so we're, we're going to have to play it. Um, that just has to happen. And then um, the bottom floor, unfortunately, looking like it's in a lot of trouble, so let's try to get something going with uh, this floor for now. Okay, that may not look great, but it means we get to do this, which I think is good. Because we take a lot less damage. 
no cash, but, you know, we're getting a lot from this anyway. Oh, yeah, this bottom floor got smoked. Oh, um... <laughs> Okay, so the top floor uh, applies Dazed, which is good and bad. It means Our Lady of the Reformed is going to just die. Um, that part sucks, but it means our champion isn't too afraid. And uh, we actually have to kill a lot of stuff. That's really good. So this floor is fine. Um, surprising, but true. And we have four energy, so... Um, yeah, again, this floor doesn't matter too, too much. Let's try to save this one as best we can. Uh, all these ones are the same, so... Could also do this plus the offering, maybe, but it doesn't seem quite as strong. So let's go with the three and the one here. Um, I do think it's worth it to try and eliminate the multi-striker here. Okay, didn't get there, unfortunately. The crazy part is we could try and, uh, if we draw it, actually reform our Legion of Wax. Not a play that usually comes up, or, yeah, with Molded here. Um, I think that's actually correct. Yeah. Like, it's really expensive, which sucks, but... Um, the... I believe the smaller modes won't have burnout, which means uh, this just gets to sort of reapply its effect pretty to pretty good use here. Uh, and here we'll just do what we can. Okay, that helps. Can I kill you? I could. I think I will then. Obviously your champion will do a whole heck of a lot on the boss, but that's what these guys are for. Oh, they do get the burnout. Okay, well... That's unfortunate. Doesn't work quite as well as I'd hoped, but we'll have to deal. Um, let's see, harness only costs one, so happy enough with that. Go ahead and do one of these, and I think I just hold on to tornadoes. Nine damage is fine to take. Um, it lets me just have these around for the boss. Um, Like, I don't know, maybe this absorbs a hit at some point. So, no reason not to get it out there. Mm. The trample is uh, slightly problematic with these units as well, but what can you do? Alright, harness costing two, so I have to decide if we want to actually play that one. I certainly want to play at least some tornadoes in order to try and get rid of the multi striker. Uh, let's see, we have an energy siphon as well. That's kind of nice. So I think I try to skip out on the harness this turn and instead. Uh, Go for two tornadoes and a siphon for the following turn, maybe something along those lines. I guess let's see one, two, three. Okay, so what I'll actually do is start with this one, even though it's a good one, which sucks, but um, that way, if this kills the multi striker, we can actually play our harness. So we'll go harness and siphon. Oh, well, oh, wow, this floor's killing. Well, okay, then. I guess we didn't need to worry even for a second. I suppose these are going to be really enormous when they get uh, summoned here. It's a little surprising to me, though. Okay. Well, that went great. I uh, don't think I want any of these. This really awkward one doesn't cause zero, and the rest of them not really the run for. Titan's Tooth? You know, not bad. It gets hit by our spell power as well for an AoE. Seems okay to me. And, okay, that's probably the way we want it to go. Uh, Alright, 
Let's check out if there's any sweet trinkets. Extinguish, burnout, spell weakness. Okay, the spell weakness is looking really good now. Uh, extinguish abilities, we don't... Oh, I'm sorry. I was about to say we don't have extinguish abilities. What a fool I am. This triggering twice is just, like, complete nonsense. So uh, we'll probably be purchasing both of these. Can we afford that? 500. Uh, we can just barely afford this. So I think we'll be doing that over buying any upgrades. Like, some of these would be nice or whatever, but this is just obscene, and this is, I think, good enough. Uh, the spell weakness will really help. And that lets us buy... Yeah, this isn't bad. Let's just make another tornado a little bit cheaper. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, then... Uh, what are we looking to duplicate is an interesting question. You know, our champion really hasn't been doing anything. I might just duplicate this Legion of Wax and just play no other units. Um, well, I, we can still get the silo fight, I guess, behind one of the smaller legions. But we just have two enormous legions, one small legion, and we just play spells. That seems like a ton of fun to me, and we just ignore our champion. Because, I mean, I could duplicate, like, Molten Entrapment, and that would be good. Um, but I, th I feel like this just makes our deck way stronger, so let's do it. The cleansing doesn't matter too too much to us here. Okay, so we got our four and our six. Um, I guess both the sixes have to. Oh, I see. We can't fit the um, the sweeper anymore. But you know, that's, that's totally fine. I think this will be completely okay as is. Um, do I play you just die? Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, I. All right, you cost two. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Um, yep, we'll just we'll just go with that. Screwing things up uh, here a little bit, but I think we're still going to be completely fine. Okay, the Ember Drain. Uh, I'm not excited about. I'm going to be honest with you. Having no energy is going to definitely slow us down. So let's try to get a mortal entrapment going on this fellow. Okay, we hit it. That's great. That just actually kills it. Perfect. And here, uh, just fire off one of these other tornadoes. I guess the smaller one is fine. We're mostly looking to eliminate the weak units. And you know, if these guys make it through the pyre, uh, it does 50 damage and dazes them. Not too worried about it. All right, play our other legion. Uh, play harness here, and Titan's tooth looks good. We make sure to eliminate the small guys here. Seems solid to me. Get some frostbite rolling. Um, yep, yeah, totally fine here. Okay, hit us once, sure. Okay, I'm gonna continue playing Harness, and again, would like to uh, eliminate the big sweeper. That one's pretty inconvenient. Let's see, so we'll want to play this one first, I think. Try and maximize damage. Darn, didn't get there. That really sucks. So next turn we get no energy, or at least very little of it. Let's see how scared we are. Um, you're not a concern at all. You, you are a bit of a concern. Uh, you're going to hit us three times. I think I'm willing to let that go in order to get a harness going here.
So many candles here. All right, Sweeper is back, and we're once again hoping to eliminate him. Would really love to see our uh, Mortal Entrapment. Would have been nice to duplicate that just for this. And the the boss being here actually uh, makes things a bit tougher as well. As it's harder to hit the units we want to hit. So with four energy, uh, obviously we can play the zero and only two other ones, unfortunately. So we get to just pick our choice of any two here. Um, I'm actually going to start with the zero again to try and eliminate the smaller units first. And just work our way up in uh, damage numbers. Looks like the 55 is the best, so we'll just use the 45. Okay, that's excellent. So now we can just ignore this and maybe uh, throw one out here. Great. All right, harness is back and do an R in this floor. Let's just fire one off down here. I uh, get rid of this expensive one. And it looks like we're about to be on the final boss, so I think our mass of candy boys is going to be able to stop it. Though not taking that much damage here, uh, actually, which is a little bit unfortunate. We'll go ahead and harness, uh, fire off our titan's tooth. Helps out a little bit. And let's see. And just throw one down here, sure. Yeah, applying the spell weakness uh, would have been nice. But you know what? This works out pretty okay, I think. This is the weakest of the floors. Um, so I think we'll be okay. If we draw a mortal entrapment, that'll go a long way as well. Oh, it's still going. Okay, this is a lot of bodies to get through. How's this floor going? This floor's killing. <laughs> Love this uh, bar up here. Pretty good stuff. All right, harness costing zero. Nice. Just run up the score a little bit because I'm able to. There we go. You know, might not be the toughest one, but we finally managed to complete one of the expert challenges on camera. Very excited about that. I'll speed this up, it's going to take a while. Alright, uh, that was a fun run. Ended up not using our champion on the final fight, pretty atypical. Uh, we ended up using a bunch of frozen tornadoes, really, really different run from what I usually do. Um, and you know, uh, Learn some about volatile gauge there, and uh, yeah, I, I, not much more to say. It was a fun run, got to do something a little bit different, and I'm very happy that we finally broke our losing streak. And hey, we even golded this card, not that it did a whole lot, but I'll take it anyhow. So thank you for watching, and we'll be back with uh, more of the challenges and more regular runs, I'm sure, soon enough.